Hello YouTube, I'm Toby and uh, today we're looking at the uh, Pentium 4 and the Sempron 2650. Now a, a while back I did a Sempron 2650 a benchmarking test uh, using Fermark. Uh, for some reason Fermark uh, saw the Sempron CPU as, a, um, as the Pentium CPU and someone uh, in the comment section uh, is calling me a liar uh, because apparently uh, I had so much to gain from switching up the CPUs. However, in this video we are going to take a uh, better look at the Fermark 720p test uh, and the differences between these two CPUs, just so that I can prove that I did not switch out the CPUs. Um, I have my setup here, I'm just going to show, you, show it uh, to you real quick. Now right here we have the uh, Pentium 5200 uh, setup, got 4 gigs of RAM, uh, no GPU, got just the uh, stock cooler. And uh, the, uh, this is the uh, hard drive for the original test as well. Got my Raptor XX uh, 550 watt power supply. And over here we have the uh, AM1 motherboard with the Sempron 2650 on it. Uh, also 4 gigs of RAM and uh, no GPU on this one either. Uh, first off we're going to look at the, uh, uh, the uh, Pentium CPU. Alright, so we are ready to run the uh, Fermark uh, preset 720 uh, stress test and uh, as you can see right here, we are on the uh, Pentium system. So without further ado, let's uh, run the test. Now, I'm not going to uh, cut, cut away in this, uh, in this time around, I'm just going to fast forward it just so that you know I'm not uh, cheating. Alright, so as you can see right here, we got a score of 48, and uh, we got an average of one frame per second. So without further uh, ado, let's uh, switch to the, um, well, the Sempron processor. Alright, so we're just about ready for the uh, Sempron test. As you can see here, we are running the uh, Sempron CPU. Uh, just like last time, I'm not going to cut away, I'm just going to fast forward just so that you know I'm not uh, cheating and go Alright, so here we have something in interesting. As you can see, the system says it's running the uh, Sempron processor, but under the uh, uh, sheet right here after Geeks 3D Fermark, it says it's a Pentium, but it isn't. And as you can probably tell, we've got pretty much the exact same score as I did in my last video. Now, the reason why this is uh, seeing it as a Pentium is mo most likely a failed... Uh, set up in the uh, system since the uh, hard disk I have uh, was originally set up with the uh, Pentium processor. But this is, however, the proof that I was not uh, forging my uh, results. Now, as you can probably tell, this video is dedicated to one individual out there. I'm not going to mention him by name, but I am going to send him the uh, link for this video. The reason, I'm go uh, the reason I'm making this video, if I didn't explain it well enough before, is that this guy just called me outright a liar because he saw the Pentium 4. I get it's confusing, but please just ask me about these things. I mean, don't just go out and call someone a liar and start bashing them. I mean, I have the proof right here, and I expect an official apology, and you know who you are. Thanks for watching.